Uh, let me recognize Senator Blumenthal. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your service, not only over many decades, but in this role, in particular at a time when the threats are as great as any time that most of us can remember. Uh, I've been to Ukraine three times over roughly the last year, visiting Kiev and President Zelensky, and uh, recently followed you, Mr. Secretary, to visit our base in Bavaria, where we are training Ukrainian fighters in the use of Bradley armored vehicles and combined arms. And uh, the bond between our soldiers and their fighters is extraordinary because of our respect for their will to fight. And that's what I've seen in the Ukrainian people. They will fight with pitchforks if necessary, but they need a lot more. And I want to thank you and the President for committing to do whatever it takes. I think I'm almost quoting exactly. And in my view, whatever it takes includes airplanes, aircraft. Uh, would you agree that as a strictly military matter, and you know a lot more about this than most of us at this side of the table, that that kind of air support from the United States is going to be necessary, and the sooner the better. Um, thanks, Senator. First of all, thanks for, for your continued support and for the support of Congress. Uh, it's phenomenal what we've been able to do uh, in, in what we've helped Ukraine uh, be, be the, the kinds of effects they've been able to, uh, to achieve based upon our support. And you, as you know, the United States of America leads the way on that. Uh, we talk to our counterparts every week, uh, sometimes uh, multiple times a week, you know, and I meet with them in person uh, every month. Uh, and uh, what they need right now, more than anything else, is air defense. Uh, and, and that is the critical need on the battlefield. And, and they also need long-range fires and, and uh, armored capability. And we are providing them a real substantial package of capability in terms of platforms, but not just that, we're also providing training uh, and we're providing sustainment. And sir, you witnessed some of that coming together when you were in Grafenvir, and I really appreciate you going out there and, and visiting our troops. Uh, but, uh, but I think those capabilities will make the biggest difference uh, in, in the near term. And they must be successful uh, you know, going forward. Yeah, we know the spring, uh, spring fighting season's uh, in front of us here, and, and we want to make sure that they have what they need to be successful. And, now, you know, and I apologize for interrupting, Mr. Secretary, but I want to come back to the aircraft because as you've identified it very clearly, and I agree totally, air defense is critical. We have a narrow window of time, and in fact, this spring will be crucial, and some of our allies are providing planes, but we have the resources, and only we really have the resources to provide the aircraft necessary for fully robust air defense. So, so um, if you're talking F-16s, uh, whenever, whenever you make that decision in order to uh, put together what needs to be put together to provide that capability, it's going to be 18 months or so in the making. Uh, and that won't, uh, that won't help in, the, in this current fight. Uh, and uh, will they have a capability at some point uh, down the road? Uh, we all believe that they will. And what that looks like, uh, it could look like F-16s, it could look like some other fourth generation aircraft, but, uh, but we will continue to work with our allies and partners to make sure that Ukraine has what it needs. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And again, I want to thank you and the President for your commitment, okay. which I think is deeply appreciated by the people of Ukraine as well. Um, I want to focus on a very narrow issue relating to procurement, which is the helicopter acquisition and development for the FLARA contract. Uh, a number of my colleagues and myself have asked the Army for an explanation for the award of that contract to Bell. It's under challenge right now. Will you commit to provide us with an adequate explanation so far the Army has been totally unforthcoming. Uh, I will commit, uh, Senator, once uh, the protest is resolved, uh, we, we, will, we will make sure you get a thorough briefing on, uh, on, on this issue. Shouldn't we have it now rather than at some indefinite point in the future? Well, sir, you know that uh, 
it's inappropriate to uh, once while this is under protest to uh, uh, to, to do that. So we, I commit to you that as soon as we can, uh, we'll provide you that information. Thank you. I want to ask one last question: suicide among our service members continues to be a desperately important problem. Uh, I will be meeting later today or this week with the family of Master of Arms Seaman recruit Xavier Mitchell Sandor, who took his own life while he was stationed on the USS George Washington. He was among three who committed suicide while that ship was under maintenance and repair. Similar kinds of suicides have happened uh, on other ships under similar circumstances. The report is still outstanding. There have been no completion of the investigation a year after that event. Um, I know you're very concerned about the troops. Nobody cares more than you do about the well-being, and I include the chairman in that sentiment. Can you tell us that additional measures will be taken and that there will be a report forthcoming about Xavier Sandor? Uh, I, I will. I, I will make sure that uh, Secretary Del Toro uh, ensures that uh, this, this investigation moves, in a time, moves out in a timely fashion and in a very thorough fashion. Uh, I would also tell you that I've asked Secretary Del Toro to make sure that, that he is personally focused on, on this issue specifically related to ships that are uh, in maintenance and, uh, and the birthing associated with those ships. Uh, he has, uh, in this budget, uh, Senator, asked for some $258 billion uh, to address that issue, and I think that's a, that's a good start. Uh, but I think we need to continue to make sure our leadership's doing the right thing, that we have adequate uh, uh, you know, housing for our, our young men and women. This, they are our national asset. And uh, I, I truly believe that he will remain focused on this, but I, I will as well. So, Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Senator Blumenthal. Uh, 